The next pose is Warrior Two. Slowly open your feet about two thirds of your mat. Turn your right toes out to the right. Now please line up your right heel in front of your left heel or your left foot arch. Now open your wings, right hand to the right, left hand to the back. Exhale, bend your right knee. Now this time we're gonna turn our palms facing up. And then when you exhale, you can sit a little bit lower and keep your right knee above of your heel, please. Now, please rest your eyes on your right palm. You can sit a little bit lower. Keep your back leg straight. Move your right knee towards your baby toe. Not too much, just a little bit. Now, inhale, straighten your right leg. Turn the right toes in. Let's do the left side, left toes out. Keep your arms. Exhale, bend your left knee. Eyes resting on your left hand. Imagine your arms are floating on the ocean, relaxing your shoulders. Some people find it, it's very hard to uh, sit so low, so you can lift up a little, no problem. Relax your toes. Inhale, straighten your left leg, turn your left toes in. Exhale, release your arms. Keep your stance. Now one more time, turn your right toes out to the right. And again, line up your heel in front of your left heel. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, moving into a triangle pose. Now pull your right hip to the back, and then rest your hand on your shin. You can look up, reach your left hand over to the sky. If you're more flexible, you can lower your right fingers to the outside of your right foot. And remember, when we inhale, we try to lengthen our spine. We don't want to drop our chest to the floor. And then when you exhale, turn your ribcage towards the sky. Now this is a spinal twist. It's not dropping the arm to the back. So please look down, micro bend your front leg. Inhale, we come back up. Turn your right toes in left toes out check your feet inhale lengthen your spine exhale pull your left hip back as you reach your arms over to your left side left hand on your shin or the floor now try to bring more weight to the inside of your left foot now inhale lengthen your spine exhale you can look up if looking up makes your neck uncomfortable, feel free to look to the side. Some people even like to look down. Two more breaths, please. And then keep reaching your arms up so energy is going up. Bend your left knee, inhale, slowly come back up, turn your left toes in, arms down to the side. Please keep your feet this wide. Now we're going into a twist. So micro bend your knees, lower your hands to the floor. Place your hands under your face. Not too close to your feet, just under your face so that we can lengthen our spine some more here. Now inhale, place your left fingers under your face. Exhale, reach your right arm up over to the sky. Now you can turn your left toes away from you. See if that gives you more mobility to turn your spine. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, turn some more. So we're trying to turn the chest, not just the arm. Now exhale, lower your arm down. Change the feet. Inhale, lifting the heart. Exhale, now left arm up. You don't have to look up, you can look to the side. Just whatever feels comfortable for your neck. Some people can turn a lot, some people can turn only a little. Now exhale, lower back, turn your right toes in. Let's change side one more time. So turn to your right, left toes out. Those who are more flexible, you can use your left hand grab hold on your right ankle 
and turn. Now inhale, bring your right hand down. Let's change side. Right toes out. Turn to your left. Or right hand grab hold of your left ankle and twist some more. Remember to lift your heart up. Now exhale, lower your hand down. Fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, you can slowly come up or bend your knees if that feels more comfortable. Exhale, bring your feet about hip width. Arms relax down to your side. Now let's sit down on your mat. And move your feet about one step, two steps away from your hips. Feet hip width apart. We're moving on into our abdominal series. Please place your hands behind your thighs. Relax your shoulders. Remember to lift your heart up. Now exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then slowly lean back into a V-shape. Try to look forward and without rounding your spine. Now exhale, maintain the right leg. Lift your left foot off the floor. Keep your left shin about parallel to the floor. Flex your left toes, left leg is strong. If you can feel your abs working now, great. But if you notice you're rounding your back, please inhale, lift your heart. Now let's change foot. So inhale, lifting the right. Grounding the left, flex your right toes. Remember to relax your shoulders. If this is easy for you, feel free to extend your arms to the side. Exhale, lower your right foot. Now inhale, lift your left. Exhale, lower your left. Again, inhale right. Lifting the heart, shoulders down and back. Exhale, foot down. Let's Modify. Inhale, lift your feet up, both feet. Please look towards your toes. If you notice you're rounding your back, you can always hold your thighs. If your feet are dropping down a lot, try to inhale, lift them up. But if lifting them up and your spine starts to round, then it's better to keep the long spine and drop your feet. Two more breaths, please. One more breath. Exhale, lower your feet down. Take a breather. Now moving on to another abdominal exercise. Have a towel ready, a small one, and just fold it into, into about an inch thick. Now lie down on your back. Now. Have the towel placed under your lower back. So there is a gap between your lower back and the mat. Put it under your lower back. Now be mindful we're not having the towel under the bum. It should be a little bit above of your pelvis. Now relax your arms on the side for now. Inhale, bring two legs up to the ceiling. You can flex your toes, straighten your legs. But due to flexibility, if you have to bend your knees, no problem. But keep your legs strong with the intention of pushing your feet away from you. Now, inhale. Exhale, push your lower back into your towel. So every exhale, we try to push into the towel. If this is sufficient training for you, stay. Otherwise, you can lower your legs about one third of the way. Now you can bend your knees, no problem, but keep your legs strong. So exhale, push your feet away from you, as well as lower back into your towel. So every inhale, you relax your shoulders. Every exhale, push your feet away, lower back into your towel. Just remember your neck is soft. We are not trying to use the back of the spine. We're trying to use the abs. 
So if you notice your back is arching a lot because of the towel, please make it thinner. Now exhale, lower your feet down. Release the towel out. Let's just rest for a moment. Straighten the legs. Now slowly bend your knees. Turn to one side. Push yourself up into a sitting position just for a few breaths. Now from this position, we're going to slowly lie down on our belly. You can have your hands in front of you and lean forward like Edmund to release your legs. Then we lie down. Keep your feet about hip width apart, hands beside your waist or your chest. Now inhale, lifting your heart up. We're not trying to use your hands to push. If you notice your arms are quite straight, please bend your elbows. Relax the arms. So whether your hands lift off the floor or not, it's not going to change your pose. So inhale, use your back, lift your heart up. Squeeze your elbows in as you exhale, shoulders away from ears. Inhale, lifting the heart. Exhale, relax your glutes a little bit, feet stay down. Inhale, your heart stay up. Exhale, your toes grounded. Two more breaths. Relax your neck, one more. And then when you exhale, lower down. Straighten your arms behind your body. Interlock fingers. If that's not comfortable for you, you can just extend your arms to the side like Edmund. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, pull your fingers to your feet. Inhale, lifting your ribs up. And squeeze your shoulder blades together some more. Now, adding on, inhale, lift your thighs up. Exhale, push your feet away from you as you pull your arms towards your feet. And then those who grab the fingers, remember to pull back, shoulder blades together, relax your neck, and exhale, lower down. Now place your hands under your shoulders, and we push ourselves up into child's pose. From child's pose, slowly round yourself up to sitting position. Move your feet to one side and then release your legs to the front. Now move a bum to the middle of the mat. And then keep your feet about hip width apart. Let's lie down on your back. Your knees are still bent. Now see if you can use your fingers to tap your heels. And if it's not happening, you can walk your feet closer to you. If it's still not happening, it's okay. Now, inhale, press your feet into the floor and to lift your hips up. Notice if your chest is sinking down. See if you can inhale, lift your heart up to the ceiling, looking up. Exhale, walk your shoulder blades towards the midline. You can interlock fingers or some people find this not so comfortable, they can simply place the hands on the side of the mat. Now inhale, lifting the heart up. Exhale, press your feet down to lift your hips. Use your legs to squeeze in towards the midline. Breathe. Two more breaths. If your neck doesn't feel comfortable here, you can lift your chin away from your chest. So remember your feet are heavy. Exhale, you push your feet to lift your hips up. Now exhale, lower your hips down to the floor. 
have a break. Now please slowly turn to one side, push yourself up to your sitting position, facing the front. Now we're moving into our sitting postures, and then the first pose is our butterfly pose. Please bring your feet together. If you notice your knees lift up and your spine is rounding a lot, you can slowly move your feet away from your groins and see whether the knees drop back and whether you gain any mobility to straighten spine. If the knees drop, there's no pain in the knee, but you cannot sit tall, then it's time for you to place a yoga block under your pelvis. Now, if you have the flexibility and there's no pain in your knees, feel free to move your feet towards your groins. Now inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, slowly walk your hands away from yourself. Please flex your toes to keep your legs active. You can look away from you and that will help you straighten your spine instead of dropping down. And then when you exhale, walk away some more and you can lower down. Some people can lower the elbows to the floor. Some people, the head can even touch down. Keep your legs strong. Let's stay here for four more breaths. Every inhale, think of long spine. Every exhale, you can sink a little bit lower. Two more breaths, please. One more. And then inhale slowly, come back up. Exhale, use your hands to bring your knees together. Straighten your legs. Now we're moving into our half butterfly pose. Please bend your right knee in. And then it's like a tree pose. If your right knee is lifting up a lot, feel free to move your right foot away from your groin and see whether the knee will drop back down. If you notice it's very hard for you to straighten your spine, then you can use a prop, put it under your pelvis. And now bring more weight to the front of your pelvis so that it's easier for you to lean forward later. Now flex your left toes, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hold on to your ankle or your left foot. Now we'd like to keep the spine long. It's not about grabbing the foot. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, imagine pulling your hands in towards your chest. So this is about leaning forward. It's not just about going down. And when you exhale, pull your hands in towards your glutes as you extend your spine to meet the hands halfway. If you notice it's easy for you to lower down, feel free to relax your head. But if you're rounding your spine a lot, it's easier for you to look forward to encourage a longer spine. Now inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, change legs. So the right and left can be very different. So please adjust your left leg according to how you feel on this side, not what you did on the right side. So flexing your right toes, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hold on to your foot or your ankle. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, pull your hands in towards your chest. And notice as you pull your hands, your shoulders must shrug. So bring your shoulders back when you pull your hands back. And then you can even lift your right kneecap to engage your right quad. We are trying to stretch the hamstring, so it's more important to keep a long spine than to straighten the right leg. Now inhale, come up. Exhale, release the legs. It's very similar to the half butterfly just now, but now we straighten both legs. Try to keep your spine tall. 
otherwise place a block under your pelvis. Now micro bend your knees. Our target muscle group is the hamstrings behind our legs. So inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, flexing your toes, grab hold of the big toes or the outside of your feet. Now inhale, lifting your heart. Exhale, bend your elbows out like wings. Pull your feet in towards your chest. If your head is dropping down, you can lift your head up a little, look forward. Inhale, heart up. And exhale, if you are more flexible, feel free to straighten your legs. But the point is to keep a long spine, feeling the stretch in your hamstrings. Please relax your shoulders. You can engage your quadriceps. And it's more important to, to keep the straight spine instead of straightening the legs. Now slowly inhale, come up. Exhale, bring your hands to the side. Now we're going to lie down on our back. Let's keep your knees bent. Bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. You can flex your right toes and then use your right hand thread in between the two legs. Interlock your fingers in front of your left shin bone. But as you pull your left leg in towards your chest, you notice the stretch at your right glutes or your right ID band is too intense for you. Feel free to brace your fingers behind your left thigh instead. And then every time you pull your left leg in, we are trying to feel a stretch at the right glute, the outside of your right thigh. Some people who have more flexibility, again, go back to holding on to your shin. If you want more stretch, feel free to keep your hands where they are. You can use your right elbow, push your right leg away from you as you pull your left leg in towards your chest. Now let's breathe. Just check in with your face. Can I relax my face some more? Can I relax my shoulders? So the shoulders and neck, they are passive here. Now we move into a twisting position. Let's squeeze your legs towards each other. Right leg still on top. When you exhale, use your left hand to guide your legs towards the left and we just drop our legs. If you notice you cannot go very far down, feel free to uncross your legs. That's fine too. That's up to you. Or you can move your hips towards the right and stack your right hip higher on top of the left. Now your arm, your right arm can reach over to the right. You can look up, you can look to the side. We're trying to have a stretch behind your back, your lower back region. Now just stay here and enjoy your breath. Inhale slowly, use your left hand, guide your legs back to center, release your legs. Now moving to the left side, left ankle on the right knee. Flex your left toes, brace your hands behind your left thigh or the front of the right shin. Pulling your right leg into your chest. If this stretch is very intense for you, when you inhale, breathe in to the place of stress. And when you exhale, just imagine the tension starting to release. Let's breathe. And then exhale, we move into a twist. So squeezing your legs together, drop your legs to the right. And again, feel free to adjust the position of your arms. Decide where you like to turn your head. Your left shoulder doesn't have to touch the floor. You don't have to force anything to happen here. Let gravity to help you.
Now inhale. Bring your legs back to center. Release your legs. And then we're preparing for our final resting position. <laughs> 